This Platts can is dated 1936. This Malco can is dated 1959, so cone tops didn't exactly go away. Hey, it's Kev with you from Kev's Can Cave. Wanted to talk to you today about uh, cone tops and flat tops, which required a church key to open. When I was a kid, this Ebling here, I could read it back then. It said aged in natural rock caves. I always thought that was the coolest thing. I always thought these cans have got to be the absolute predecessor in cans and in beer cans, I mean. And we all know that that beer was in bottles and around 1933 prohibition was over. The can companies were eager to try to figure out how to put beer into cans and they it, did, it just didn't happen overnight. It, a couple of years of trial and error, Bud was real big on it, Pabst was, was real big on trying it, but the very first can came out in 1935. If you can put your beer in flat cans, flat tops, you can stack your beer up, because we all know that bottles don't stack and cone tops don't stack, so that was a real neat selling point. And it's really amazing what they can do nowadays, how how small of a space they can get a 30 pack in. But that was the whole idea behind cans. So the can company started experimenting around with how can they put beer in a can. We've put food in cans for years, even in the 1800s, but the beer is pressurized and uh, it's highly carbonated. So anyway, Long story short on that, they were able to make a tough can after many failures of cans that would blow up the seams when they tried to, you know, uh, put the pressure into the can. So they ended up making a really tough can, but now the beer tastes like crap because of a lining. So anyway, they figured all that out and Kruger made an order of like 2,000 cans and got the ball rolling on that. But, uh, the reason behind the cone tops, you might ask, if flat tops, if if flat tops were such a big sell that you could stack them and all that, and that just took, you know they're heavy duty and it just takes a church key to open them, the can companies thought, well, not everybody can afford to retrofit their bottling lines to make flat top beer, so why don't we make a can? the shape of a bottle so we can just make the can on the same uh, process or machinery that we bottle the beer in now. And that's where cone tops came in. So even though cone tops look older than flat tops, they actually are not. It was the can companies doing a favor to the smaller beer companies so they could still make beer in cans. That's cool and new, but using the old bottling equipment. Anyway, I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, please like, comment, uh, subscribe if you like to. Uh, have a good one. Kev's Can Cave is out.